What's going on guys? Jesse from Sled Addicts here. So in this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different from our usual ride videos that you may be used to. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to give a brief summary of our trip here in New Brunswick, highlighting what New Brunswick is known for and talking about the Christus Mountains, which houses a number of new trails that have been established over the past few seasons. To start off, who best to tell you about New Brunswick and the unbelievable trail riding experience offered than Ross Answorth, recently retired general manager of the New Brunswick Federation of Snowmobile Clubs. Ross, so what's your history with New Brunswick and how did you get involved in snowmobiling up here? Well, I got involved in snowmobiling with my dad way back in the 70s and then as life moved on. So I grew up around snowmobiling. Uh, I got a phone call to join a snowmobile club huh. and would have volunteer. And uh, right at that point in my life, I was uh, ready to do that. And uh, my wife said, how'd you make out? When I come home, I said, well, I'm vice president. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that set me on a journey that I never expected uh, that was uh, very, very much part of my life. Uh, the short and long of it, uh, I began to volunteer for the New Brunswick Federation of Snowmobile Clubs uh, some 27, 28 years ago, but really had the privilege of being their general manager for 24 years, and I just recently retired from that full-time position. So snowmobile has been a big part of my personal life. <laughs> and it became part of my professional life. And uh, so uh, it, it's been a really cool, cool ride. That's awesome. And uh, in your opinion, in terms of New Brunswick and how it compares, what would you say is something that, or a couple of things that set New Brunswick apart from other places in Canada and the northern U.S.? Uh, the very first thing always comes to mind is the length of season we have here. I mean, uh, not everybody thinks of New Brunswick as being this northern place, but the reality is, is that, is that we have parts of the province that have snow belts. And uh, while lots of places say, oh, come here, you know, we have snow from December to the end of the March, the reality is, is not near that far. It, it's maybe the second week of January to the first week of March. Mm -hmm. But we have parts here, and we've just experienced it riding, yep. uh, that, uh, you know, uh, we can begin in December in lots of places and go to the second, third week April, and of course the interior in the Christmas Mountains, we can go to the end of April, and so it just makes it a really unique spot. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the other things too, um, and, I, and I, I don't always think of it right away, but all the lodges, all the neat and cool little places yeah. to stop that other places don't have. And the other thing is that the, the volunteers, the club system, have done a wonderful job of putting shelters in places. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, those shelters are well taken care of and they're, they're there for an emergency and they have wood and yeah. things like that. So it does make it a little unique versus all the other provinces and states I've had the opportunity to ride in. Yeah, absolutely. I would say like those lodges we stopped at yesterday, Island Lake Lodge, like places you don't really see every day. And it kind of just adds to that sledding experience because these are like little sledding paradises. Yeah, they're just they're just and, and they're kind of in the snowmobile lore. Yeah. Like 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 other people don't even know about it. You know, you talk about you talk about Serpentine or Moose Valley or Island yeah. Lake or <laughs> the new lodge at Mount Carlton Provincial Park. I mean, that's 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 stunning. That's, that's yeah. stunning. But these other places, you know, are all privately run and they're so much a part of the snowmobile experience and so much a part of the system and they've all learned to work with the snowmobile clubs and the volunteers and it just makes for a wonderful visiting experience mm -hmm. over and above the fun of riding yeah exactly so i guess the other question i had for you in terms of the christmas mountains i know it's a newer area of riding here in new brunswick yeah tell me a little bit about how that came to be and what makes the christmas mountains special the Christmas Mountains was this crazy idea that we came up with. Gosh, it must be coming close to 15 years ago, well over 10. Uh, in my career, I had the great privilege of meeting people who did my job right across Canada and the USA. Mm -hmm. And I was down to the Black Hills of South Dakota many years ago. And uh, Shannon, who runs the program there, and another fellow who set it up, uh, Kim, uh, are still good friends of mine. And basically what they did was they took the highest point in the state and they put groomers at the top of it, okay? Mm -hmm. and, they, and they groomed a different way. They groomed out from a hub so that they had this huge efficiency. So the Christmas Mountains in New Brunswick, and here's the, one of the things I, I'm just so proud of. When I was talking about Christmas Mountains 10 years ago, everybody was looking at me like, what are you talking about? Did you make that up? There's a portion of New Brunswick through the Appalachian Mountains that were actually named after reindeer. Wow. 
And there's great big forestry roads through there, okay? So it's not like the, the mountain you're going to see when you go to British Columbia or Wyoming where you come around a corner and go, oh, crap, there it is, okay? Yeah. You're already on top of them. And that elevation, that elevation holds the snow from late November to early May, okay? Big wide forestry roads, so easy to maintain. We yeah. had Mount Carlton Provincial Park in the middle. Yeah. It took pressure off the volunteers and clubs. Absolutely. And it's just, and there's enough services on the edges, okay? I, I believe there needs to be more, and I believe there will be more, yeah. okay? But there's enough services on the edges that you can access it, whether you're coming from, from Bathurst or whether you're coming from Plaster Rock or whether you're coming from the Dope Town Boys Town area, or, you know, you can access mm -hmm. it. It's just... And the other thing it does, besides the grooming of these big wide forestry roads, is there's a ton of roads, and it's all on crown land for all the off trail riding, and that's been huge. and that's been an issue, and it shouldn't be an issue. Everybody should be able to enjoy themselves, but now people can ride off trail with no with no worry of upsetting no the land worry, there. okay? And it doesn't take away the trail. We're not into the private landowner issues or land access issues, yeah. and this was all part of the bigger vision. So the Christmas Mountains is very special in that way because it's going to separate New Brunswick as having a very unique area, a yeah. long riding season, on trail, off trail, add everything in that was already here, and uh, it's 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 special. It's special. Yeah, I can imagine. Like even going through yesterday and seeing some of those areas where the, those trails are, like there's an abundance of snow there, like significantly more snow as you climb up that. Yeah, altitude. I mean here we are, the third week of March, and uh, most places would die to have this much snow at the peak of winter. Yeah, <laughs> right. There's a lot of snow. Right, here. there's a lot lot of snow, yeah. and of course that, and of course because of the higher elevation in the interior of the province, it'll hold and hold and hold and hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Ross, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, yeah. thanks for riding with us. Great riding with you, and thank you for all the questions. My pleasure. So there you have it. New Brunswick is truly a unique place to ride and a destination for any snowmobiler eager for a new riding experience. From the tight and twisty trails, which are common coming out of the major cities like Edmonston or Bathurst, to the fast and wide logging roads as you head into the northern rural part of the province, there really is a wide array of riding opportunities. And for me... I like signage, and I've never seen better trail signage than here in New Brunswick. Every single intersection is marked well, with signboards showing which trail goes which direction, the exact distance to the nearest towns, and the distance to gas and shelter in whichever direction you choose to head. And don't even get me started on the Christmas Mountains. All I can say is wow. As you start heading towards Mont Carlton Park, which is considered the base of the Christmas Mountains, the powder keeps on building, and the wide variety of logging roads allows you to enjoy both on and off trail riding. I want to give a special mention to the Quality Inn and Grey Rock Casino Complex here in Edmonston, New Brunswick. We stayed here both the night before our trip began and the night our trip ended before heading home. From the excellent accommodations to the delicious food at the Valley View restaurant and the individualized and heated sled garages, this hotel is an ideal place to stage out of when riding to the Christmas Mountains. Now that you know a little bit about northern New Brunswick and what the riding experience is like here, let's head to the trail for the day-by-day -day riding content you have come to expect from us. Good morning, everyone. We're just leaving uh, Edmonston, New Brunswick from the Quality Inn. As you can see, the trail right out of the hotel is freshly groomed. Nice way to start off a day, as usual. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be making our way to Bathurst today, as I mentioned. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take uh, 19 East, and that's going to take us basically all the way uh, to Mount Carlton Provincial Park where we're going to stop for fuel. And that's basically our lunch stop, but uh, there is no lunch today, so it'll be snacks. And Ross is awesome. We had dinner with him last night. He already told us so much about the area that I find fascinating and how the similarities are between uh, some of the New Brunswick Federation, the Snowmobile Clubs, and uh, the OFSC and the FCMQ, things that are similar, things that are different. And it, it's just interesting to learn. So it's pretty cool here is that hill in the distance right in front of us. That's Maine. That's the U.S. Right now we're about six kilometers. Yeah, we're about six kilometers from turning onto uh, Trail 19 off of Trail 12 that we're on now. And just before that, there's going to be a Shell gas station on the right side of the street. And uh, we're going to fill some gas. And then from there, it's basically directly... Uh, to Mont Carlton Provincial Park. Look at this, that's super cool. Wow, look at the length of this tunnel. 
which goes under the highway. Very, very cool. There's the groomer. Now that's a big gas tank. <laughs> we all just filled up some, some liters and uh, we're gonna go like 500 meters up the trail here. That'll take us to the lodge. Just had an awesome lunch at uh, the Mont Carlton uh, Provincial Park. The lodge in there is beautiful. I'll throw some pictures up here, but we, they don't actually have, the restaurant isn't open on Tuesdays, so we brought our own snacks. So we went in there, sat down, warmed up, and uh, ate our own food, but awesome place. And now we're just gonna continue on our way to Bathurst, really trail 19 with a stop. And uh, we're gonna take a detour on the uh, Prancer Trail, which is one of the Christmas Mountain Trails, and then really right into Bathurst. Okay, so we're breaking trail here on the Prancer Trail. Look at the powder. Oh yeah, this is awesome. What an awesome place. Just stopped for a little break here at the Island Lake Lodge. And now we're gonna power through another 75K into Bathurst to the Atlantic Host where we're staying tonight. The Atlantic Host Bridge, now that's cool. The sun's just starting to come down. Perfect time to pull in. And welcome to the Atlantic Host. And it was freshly groomed right out of here. Nice. Okay guys, well, that was a 355 kilometer day. We had an awesome time. We're gonna go inside, uh, get in the shower and get ready for dinner. Um, but we will see you on the trails bright and early. Okay, day two, here we come. Just getting ready to leave the Atlantic Host. Awesome place we stayed at last night. Great dinner, great breakfast, great accommodations. They're very snowmobiler oriented. We had a, there was a snowmobiler hall of fame that we saw walking down the hallway. And here's Ross over here in the orange and blue jacket, just chatting with the boys. And then we'll be heading out and he's heading to Quebec to go continue riding. Look at this logging road, wow. Unreal. Where you can really let her let her go, let her loose, while staying in control, of course. But there isn't a speed limit in New Brunswick. One thing I'll say about this area, about New Brunswick, which is awesome, is look at these signboards. Just exactly all the kilometer markers, exactly where each trail is, how far to the shelter, how far to the gas station, and the same thing over here. It's just awesome. Shows you exactly where you want to go, and that's what signage is for. Nice quick stop here at Rogers Lake and Lodge. Super awesome place, we went inside for a bit. Beautiful in there, just wooden cabin. Met the owners, again, super friendly. Everyone up here is just really friendly, asking how the trails are, how we're enjoying our time, if we wanna come in and warm up. And now we're just gonna chug along down the trail, down the 23 trail for a bit. And then I believe when the 23 meets the 58, that's gonna be Serpentine Lodge where we're gonna stop for a bite. Gotta love the wide sweeping trails. It is a whole different world. Yeah. Oh man. Crazy. Yep. Uh, these conditions this time of year. Yeah, it's, it's rare that you get this type of snow at the end of, in the middle of March, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yep. Cool. It's like you're riding on another planet. It is another planet. <laughs> <laughs> I wish yeah. I was from this planet. Why? I wish I was from this planet too, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna take North Pole to Vixen and Vixen takes us back out to the 23. Right on. It's just beautiful in here, you can go wherever you want. Right now I'm in the powder and then I'm back on the trail. And then I'm in the powder again and then back on the trail, whatever you want. That's what's nice about the Christmas Mountains areas. In other areas, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna piss off landowners on private property. But here, it's all crown. Enjoy. It's one of the new 100s. That's where we're going. Serpentine Lodge. 
Nice bite to eat. Everyone in the lineup for gas at Serpentine. Can't beat that view over there. Dan's having some fun in the powder. <laughs> Wilson's camp. Take a look at this place. Just stunning. And we got our bedrooms downstairs. We just met the owner. He's in the midst of making us dinner. And we're just getting all our stuff and bringing it inside. Hey, Dan. Hey, buddy. How are you? Oh, great. Just giving our friends on YouTube a, a tour of this place. That was the ride of my life today, buddy. It was. That was one of the best rides ever. Yeah. <laughs> it was warm. The trails were flat. They were wide. And you could play in the powder. And it was like hero snow. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, so we got this one room here with the three bunk beds and the queen, and then this massive room here with a queen, full living room, uh, <laughs> table, washroom, sink. Just a stunning place. Time for food. Good morning, guys. Well, it's day three of our trip here in northern New Brunswick. We had an awesome stay last night here at uh, Wilson's Hunting Camps, and uh, now we're gonna run down the road here, down to the rail line, and then hop on that rail line and start heading out. Uh, we're gonna go a little east today, and then north and back to the 58 trail. So we're gonna be back at um, Serpentine Lodge for lunch, and then after that, we're gonna hit some of the Christmas Mountain trails, a couple more of them that we haven't gone to yet, and then around and down into Plaster Rock where we're staying tonight. We're back on the nice two groomer width wide section of the 58 trail. And that's gonna go all the way up to Serpentine. The trail is just mint. Absolutely mint. So last night at Wilson's was probably our favorite night, speaking from the group, our favorite night of the trip. That place is just awesome. It feels super homey. The owners are awesome. They super friendly, came up, spoke to us. We were chatting for like an hour last night. The steak dinner was just absolutely delicious. Uh, and breakfast this morning was unreal. And the accommodations are really nice. Beautiful, uh, rustic wooden cabin or wooden lodge. But the service was, was five stars. So I really can't say enough good things about Wilson Sporting Camp. And if you're in the area and you want to stay somewhere on the Miramichi River, definitely consider Wilson's I would to be honest with you I wouldn't stay anywhere else so another great lunch at Serpentine Lodge hi Butch hi buddy hi Butch there's the beautiful signboards we've come to love here in New Brunswick yeah, so Mont Carlton Park would be that way, and Cupid and Comet, which is exactly where we're going. So I'm running down the trail here, and then I look to my left, and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> this is cool. Comet was nice. Now we're coming up to uh, the junction with Cupid. It's a little bit foggy all of a sudden. There we go. So now we're at the Cupid Trail, and then we'll take that, that will get us to Candy Cane, and then from Candy Cane, uh, that will take us back to the 23. It's just another logging road, but there's a ton of snow, like way more than anywhere else. And that's what we've noticed with the Christmas Mountains, is you just get a longer duration. Cupid. Christmas, it looks like Christmas outside, guys. How cool is that? It was really clear a second ago, and now it's white. <laughs> the whole area is just white. It's 
Not only do we have great views, we have a shelter in the middle of the mountains. Like, I'm sorry, I just can't get over that. That is crazy. Oh my God, so many deer. More deer. We're on the 23 trail, just uh, 60 kilometers or so north of Plaster Rock. And we just saw about 15 deer <laughs> on the trail. Every corner we made, there was another four deer. And then they hear the sled, and then once they see us, they run into the bush. Just stopped for our final stop of the day with a quick photo shoot. Look how nice and neatly they were lined up there. <laughs> the crazy view in the distance. And now we've got about 21 kilometers uh, right back into Plaster Rock. And we've arrived at the Suttler's Inn. Okay guys, well, we're gonna go in, have some dinner, and uh, we'll see you guys on the trail tomorrow for day four. Well, good morning guys. Uh, it's day four. Uh, we're just checking out of the Suttler's uh, Motel in Plaster Rock. Nice place, very decent motel, clean rooms, basic necessities, really all you need. And we got dinner last night, takeout, from the uh, Italian place in town, Little Pepino's. Great pizza and stuff. Had a few beverages to end off the night last night in the room. Sled's right out front. And now we're gonna be driving about five, 10 minutes uh, down the trail and getting on for breakfast at Haley's. How was breakfast, Don? It was good, it was awesome. Yeah. Good, big, hearty breakfast and then... Breakfast, good to go. Right yeah. To Up to Mount Carlton we go. Sleds are all sitting on the snowbank waiting for us. Just heading out of Plaster's Rock here on uh, Trail 44 down the power line. In about 10 kilometers, we're going to be turning onto the 23 trail and going up the same way uh, we came down yesterday uh, and then hopping and taking a quick uh, stop for fuel at Mount Carlton Lodge uh, where we had lunch and fuel the first day and then from there we're going up towards Moose Valley but look how much snow there is here. <laughs> like in town it's pretty bare. As soon as you get out of town, like we're not even three kilometers out of town and there is an abundance of snow. We're in Chalet Restigushi, just had an awesome lunch. Dan, how was yours? The best pulled pork I've had in a long time here. Oh man, it was so good. Look at this place, just awesome. Sleds on the roof here, super cool. And now we're gonna head out and off we go to Moose Valley. The gas pump here is busy. Busy, busy. Yeah, so the trail's right here and I'm on a uh, non-groomed section that's sanctioned off trail. I've never in my life snowmobiled in eight degrees. It's a cool experience, especially when you have such an abundance of snow. Welcome to Moose Valley, guys. We have arrived. A lot of sleds in here. Time to go in and have a snack. Moose Valley Lodge. Look at this place. It looks awesome. This is what you don't see in Ontario, guys. Nice wide white highways to end off our trip. We've got about 38 kilometers left to get back to the Grey Rock Casino and the Quality Inn uh, in Edmonston where we started. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a swing bridge. Last one and a half kilometer ride of the trip. Oh man, I hate this feeling at the end of the trip. But that's life, right? You just gotta enjoy it in the moment, which we did. God, we did. We had so much fun. Riding with Ross was awesome. All the guys we were riding with this trip have just been fantastic. And uh, we've really made memories that will last a lifetime. So I hope the point of this video and, and what I want you guys to take from it is if you are interested in traveling somewhere to go ride and you want to experience something new, New Brunswick and more specifically the Christmas Mountains, they start early, they end late, and uh, they have awesome trails, so definitely check them out. Like right now we're in town, which is always the worst sections, and the trail's still holding together. We haven't ridden dirt at all. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiles. 
Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.